So our brand new tiny house feature film is up for rent on Amazon.com right now. And at the end of this film, we'll talk about our upcoming workshop in my backyard. Hey, what's up, guys? Deke, RelaxShacks.com. Finally, a nice day here in New England. It's been raining like the last few days. Want to come out here now that it's not raining to showcase something I built a little while ago as a memorial to a student at a school here in Sharon, Massachusetts. Um, I was flattered to have been asked to build this. I figure what better way is there to pay tribute to someone that has passed that was a kid, a child, uh, than to, in her name, build a fun playground that others could enjoy. And on a very extreme budget, that's exactly what I did. And I can share that with you right now. So my sketches initially called for this to almost resemble by the borderline of the mulch, like an island, a play island. So when kids cross this little threshold, they could pretend or feel as if they were in some, some other world, complete with a fake campfire ring, some built-in benches, uh, some wind chimes to add a little color, another built-in seat over there I did with extra wood, stumps as seats to save, to save money. I mean, basically, that's what it came down to. We got those donated oak stumps, um, the memorial stone over here that was generously donated as well, and another dotage, is that a word? No, of stumps, usage, placement of stumps, one being the threshold for the A-frame, which was so simple to build, but came out pretty well. This is one of the things we've done kind of before at our workshops. Uh, as I mentioned, maybe I didn't. We have one coming up in my backyard that deals more so with reuse. Uh, with, there's a lot of that in here, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna point out different things that save me money. Now we had a couple extra posts and I built this spire here thing simply to be able to raise the string light so that no one would run through and get clotheslined, uh, even though most of the people using this are gonna be about four foot one. But I just wanted that little drop or slant in the lines to stretch them out. 50 feet of solar powered lights I bought. Um, some tough tax material. Now this is kind of an interesting reuse of it, filming in the sun here, but these are ridge caps and it had an extra piece that was kind of burning a hole in my pocket and this stuff's almost indestructible polycarbonate toughtexondura.com decided to use a scrap piece i had to provide an extra overhang because this whole front here is open meaning if we have any wind driven rain it's gonna get inside here so to kind of prevent that somewhat from happening and to prolong the life of the structure i gave it that overhang uh, i wanted to put some interesting triangular shapes in here that's the overall motif because it gave it, it gave it this uh, kind of modern look more interesting than just having an open a-frame and i figured the kids could have fun peering through here uh it's big enough where they won't get their skulls stuck in there and you know like you're going to see over and over and over with the scraps the repetition of triangles even in the carpet that was the theme it is an a-frame uh things i reused first of all let's start with what i didn't reuse this is double wall uh, poly, uh, polycarbonate from Tuftex. Once again, the greenhouse stuff. I love it. It's durable. It goes up so well. Gives this diffused light. Makes this space seem a bit bigger because you have all that natural light in it. And I did the same thing with these knee walls down below. By lifting it up two feet here, here's some tips for the A-frame builders, playhouses, tree houses, real houses, whatever. Uh, even my plans, they're on relaxx.com for the transforming A-frame. By lifting that, you give yourself more side-to-side -side room, more headroom overall. Uh, the back wall isn't weatherproof in a sense that it's just slotted or slatted, but there's an overhang in the back that protects that as well. Uh, a couple things I'll point out when it comes to decor. This is the thrifter in me. I save and find a lot of stuff. At one point in time, found that on the side of the road in perfect shape, so I just brought it over here to use it. The bottles, uh, even the little wood scraps here that almost serve as bookends. I put those in here and thought that looked kind of cool. Emma was very into nature, so there's a lot of hidden things in here that her family kind of cleared and asked for, the stencil of the acorn. This is from a very old house. I salvaged at one point in time. This board here, rough hewn is, uh, you know, you can see the sawmill kerf marks, I should say. So it was cut at a sawmill, not like with an ads, but that is from the 1800s. We used it there as a little bench. And uh, it's pretty well built, if I say so myself. And being triangular, that being a repetitious and strong shape in construction, it's gonna hold up. Um, again, I love the open feel of it. It's just so much fun. The triple triangles here and all that space up above. Uh, this cool little glass terrarium-like thing with all the gemstones and I found that on the side of the road and I figured let's make that into a 
little pendant like light. You could put a solar light in there. I thought that might look kind of cool. Hey, side note, by the way, Tough Decks on Dora.com, the roof was generously donated by them. Same with the siding. Thank you so incredibly much. It made this project possible and affordable for the school. Like, no lie whatsoever. Thank you. I would contemplate doing plan sets in this or another A-frame in general because the one I did, the transforming A-frame cabin, has done so well to the point where so many people are building it or copying it and not even realizing I designed it. They have no idea, so they just, you know, it kind of stinks sometimes to see a video go viral and I don't get any design credit. Like, come on. But people don't know. That's how the internet works. Um, thank you to those who have showcased it and given me credit. I really appreciate that. I help, it helps me make a livelihood off something I did create and design. Uh, but I might make another plan set in something like this or, or a couple tree houses, that kind of stuff. RelaxShacks.com has those. But I just want to share this with you because it was really fun to build it for the family. Unfortunately, I was away in California when they had the unveiling with all people here in the families. I wish I could have been there. It stinks that I couldn't have, but I guess it went over very well with the family. And, and thank them for allowing me to do this and the school. I really... Again, I was flattered to have been picked for this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to leave a comment down below, I'd appreciate that. Please subscribe, and we will see you later, maybe at my backyard workshop. Want to come out, hang in my backyard, and make some really cool stuff? Six different projects. You'll get to take all of them home. Well, happening in March, we're doing a workshop of a different sort, craft style, DIY, repurposing, and salvage, and a lot more with some guest hosts. Description details all down below.